We good to go? Alright. Hey guys, um, if you've read the video description, some of you may be thinking, Rob, this has been a little bit late to the party. Um, unfortunately, my hacks didn't arrive till today, so I've not been able to do the video till today. Um, basically, it is a Yu-Gi-Oh! Legendary Collection for Joey's World pack opening. I've got two boxes. I've uh, unsealed one, and the other one is sealed. Um, basically, this is a bit of a blind video. I have no idea what's in these packs other than the promo cards, the, so the scapegoat, and the, uh, the free promotional cards, and some really obvious cards that I think Time Wizard and Jinzo that I think have already been announced. All that I really know is it's got Joey's cards, my Valentine's cards, some of Rex Raptors, and also Marek. Um, now, I'm making a Joey deck at the moment. I was making it before this pack actually got announced, so I was very happy when it did get announced, and I've also got a Marek deck. So I'm hoping, uh, even though my Marek deck's quite sort of hollow at the moment, to get some rarity boosts, um, in terms of what I'd like to be in the pack, um, hollows of old shitty cards that Joey used really. Super Rare Gamble will be nice, Secret Rare Baby Dragon, uh, for stuff like Marek, Secret Rare Ultra, Milk of the Full Face Beast, just old stuff like that that has no chance of getting a hollow reprint, uh, just to basically building up their decks. Um, I know Force has done a video, and I know he did want me to watch the video before this, but I, I wanted this to purely be a blind run. Um, just so the reactions are totally genuine and I have no idea what I'm getting into when I open these packs. So I think for now we'll cut that video off and get another angle right around here. Alright, so we've moved over to a uh, behind the shoulder view, basically just to get a bit of a better angle of the box and of course the packs as I open them. Feel free to do a uh, quick zoom. Although it's not really anything new, it came out a couple of days ago now. Uh, it, with the way the internet moves, you know, this is old news, but I promised several people I would do a video, so that's what I'm doing. Uh, might as well get started. Unfortunately, the um, last video we did actually cut out, um, my phone being a bitch, basically. So, I have seen this already, but I am going to show up anyway. Uh, this is the Joey game map. It's got on one side the Harpy Lady Phoenix Formation card that my uses that is in this pack. And the Joey Wheeler game mat as well. I actually have never seen one of these sort of like uh, cardboardy mats before. I know one came with the uh, Yugi collection, uh, so I was a bit sceptical, but after seeing one in real life, definitely going to use it, uh, especially when I'm using the Joey deck. Probably suits it more than the Infinity mat I have, or the Judgment of Light Utopia mat I have. Um, I have opened these, uh, but I already knew what they were anyway. Blue Flame Swordsman, um, fortunately he doesn't get Flame Swordsman from the extra deck, although in the anime he used it as a normal monster, so I guess it kind of makes sense. Uh, unfortunately it means you can't use Flame Swordsman in a traditional Joey deck, because he doesn't actually fusion summon it, he just uh, normal summons it because it's a normal monster. But I suppose you could put it in the deck if you really wanted. Um, if you're using like an old broken Joey deck, I suppose if people have agreed to duel you with it, they probably don't care about you putting a 1800 attack monster in the deck. Uh, Harpy Lady Phoenix Formation, pretty powerful card at least in the anime. I know some people were complaining about it being nerfed, but to be honest, if we're going to talk about a card being nerfed, we're going to talk about Card of Last Will, its effect. If the attack of a monster or monsters you control becomes zero by a card effect, draw until you have five cards in your hand, and this card cannot be used in a duel. In my opinion, if you're going to have a card that fucking says this card cannot be used in a duel, make it as powerful as you fucking want. This is not. A, tr a normal bank card, this is not on the limited list, this is, it cannot be used. Um, I'm going to put in my Marit side deck, uh, I probably won't use it, just because there are no cards in the Marit deck that I have that can put a monster attack to zero. So even in a character deck, can't use it. Quite, probably my most anticipated card out of this set, and pretty much Konami gave me the middle finger, but whatever. Um, still very nice, it's at least come out, and it has got loads of old Marit's cards on it, like... Uh, I think I can see Lava Golem and Magical Stone Excavation. Uh, got the tokens, the four scapegoat tokens. Very, very nice. And the two stray lamb tokens. Don't know why I'm showing off those and not the scapegoat tokens, but, uh, well, stray lambs used to use quite a lot back in the old Inset deck. When uh, running Inset Queen meant you have to have pretty much tokens galore and even to use it. Um, Right, so, pack opening. I was going to use some scissors, but I thought, let's do it the old-fashioned way. Right, yo. 
tense. Tense. Right, Mullivant Catastrophe, Marit Card, Two Mask. Gravekeeper's Priestess, okay. Uh, I know they released some of the Gravekeeper's cards in the Marek deck because he's a Gravekeeper. Uh, Gravekeeper's Stele, didn't use that. Harpy Lady, super rare. Uh, Red Eyes, Darkness Metal Dragon, secret rare, pretty nice. Not actually a Joey card, but Joey related. And then School Conductor, common. Red Eyes, Wyvern, and common. And Black Petra, um, not the greatest first pack. Um, Kind of myth that they're putting loads of supposed merit cards in that aren't actually merit related. Um, so far, no actual proper character cards other than Harpy Lady. But we'll see if it gets better. I know Force said he wasn't too happy about the packs that he got. I'm hoping there's a certain card in here I do want to get. Whoa, School Stalker! Pretty sure this card's not come out before, so this is a uh, first release of this card outside Japan. Forced he's going to grab your monster with his claws, then attack again with his poison stinger. Joey-like accent, I guess. Um, that's pretty good. That's made me. That's made up for that first shitty pack. I always like to see old cards like that get released. Magic Jammer. Whoa, Ancient Tool. A destructive machine discovered in the ruins of the Ancients. Don't know if that's been released before, maybe in an old tournament pack, but still, very nice. Lesser Fiend. Book of Life, Ultra Rare, very nice. I'm making a uh, school servant deck at the moment, so Ultra Rare Book of Life is very much appreciated. Super Rare Pyramid Turtle, again for the school servant deck. And it also means a lot more classier than the secrets. Trap Jammer Secret Rare, pretty nice, old classic card. And then some Dark World cards that I assume are in there. Uh, Pity Revival Jam is not a high rarity, but much better second pack. Come on. Well, that's made up for a bit. I want Rex Raptor's old dinosaur cards, Mega Zowler and Sword Armor Dragon. Skull Dice Common, Card of Sanctity Common, Premature Barrel Common, uh, Shadow Tamer Rare, okay. Uh, Harpy Dancer Ultra Rare, I know a lot of people have these Harpy cards. Call the Hot, it's super. Brow Huntsman of Dark World Secret, okay. And Common Soul Absorb and Bone Tower. Very weird rarity choices, you think they'd really focus on some of the old stuff, but we've got some um, stuff like the Dark World cards in there, and the, which are a bit weird. Seems a bit of a, a waste if you're going to make an actual pack based around a character. Tail Swipe. Not actually Rex Raptor, um, but I think it was released in the GX era. Big Evolution Pill, same. It's Tyranno Hassleberry so far. Another rare Lesser Fiend. Ultra Imperial Iron Wall, very nice. Amazon Paladin My. Compulsory Activation Device Secret, which I'm pretty sure was a secret in the, um, the last pack, which that's a bit bizarre. But I was after one, so that's quite nice. And then Common Wall Shadow, Common Guildford, which I'm a bit... I know in the anime, I think Jason said that the Guildford used by Joey is actually the alternate art. Seems a very weird choice not to release that art in this pack. And then another Gravekeeper's Curse. So, so far, um, a lot of the packs seem to be, uh, a lot of the cards that are in the pack seem to be vaguely character related. I'd be interested in actually seeing the full spoiler. Two of King Rex, actual Rex, Fairy's Hand Mirror, Crawling Dragon number two, which I think was Rex Raptor, Re Rare Red Eye Zombie Dragon, another Gravekeeper uh, Stele or Stele, another Super Rare Call the Haunted, I think Force had this complaint, lots of repeat uh, promos, Secret Pot Agreed, again a card that was in the Yugi, uh, Yugi world, Strike Ninja, which was Duke Devlin, and Dark Geroid. Right, so that's the first five packs. Um, we might as well keep on going. Uh, probably going to be honest, say that was quite a disappointing first box. I think Force are the same sort of thing. A lot of repeat promos, lots of really weird choices. But we'll see if this box can redeem it. So far, not a lot of actual Joey cards. For a Joey's World pack, not a lot of his stuff. And I'll be interested, as I said, I'll be interested. We might as well put that aside for now because we've seen that. Same for promos. And we'll keep them rolling on. If I can get 
There's a certain common card in here that's just that's just been released for the first time over here. I'm hoping I'll get it because I know a lot of people want it. So I have an instinct. So again, that's a uh, Tana Hasselberry card, not Rex Raptor. I don't think I've actually seen any Rex Raptor cards apart from Calling Dragon. Spell Reproduction, Relieve Monster, Greatly Position again, nothing to do with him. The Gates of Dark World, Amethyst Paladin Mine, another repeat. Red Eyes, Darkness Metal Dragon, again, not actually with Joey Cub, but Joey related. Rio Koki and Dark, Dark Triceratops. Pretty naff, first pack of the box. I know there's a couple of you who are going to be watching this video. Nothing that's made me think, fuck, that's really good so far. Apart from, bizarrely, that old shitty fucking uh, school stalk is the card I'm most excited about. That uh, probably says quite a lot. Head of Tama, I think used by Joey and he's possessed by Marek. Great Mammoth of Goldvine, yes. Uh, right, another card that's cheered me up. Pity it's a common, but still. It's nice that it's finally been released. Rare Jinzo. I know a lot of people have been wanting the easier rarity Jinzo to get, or a more accessible Jinzo. Black Horn of Heaven Ultra, don't really think it needed that. Harpy number one super, Dark Hole Secret, nice. Amazes Scouts, Giant Trap Hole, and Trano Infinity. Again, I think they said Rex Raptor, but they literally mean just dinosaur cards. Alright, we've got three traps to go. I'm going to assume that one of the cards I'm looking for, which is six cents, is probably very hard to get, considering how much it's worth. Garuzis, very nice, an actual Joey card again. Can't remember if that's actually been released over here yet. If it hasn't, definitely one for the Joey deck or Joey's side deck. Fossil Dig, Red Eyes Zombie Dragon again, Red Eyes Black Dragon Ultra Rep, quite nice. Elegant Egotus Super, and another compulsory ev evacuation device. Right, two more packs. Come on. The Snake Hair, used by Bones, one of Joey's opponents. Can't remember if this has been released or not, but if it hasn't, very nice. Tutum Mask, Chain Destruction, Trading Ultra, nice. Red Eyes Black Chick Super, that's pretty cool. Capazul Secret Rare, alright. Again, another GX Dragon card, and then Nudoria, Sewagin, and Lava Battle Guard. Okay, one more pack. I think I'm probably going to be hoping on this. Okay. Fossil Excavation, Card of Sanctity, Alligator Sword Dragon. I did need one. I prefer one of the higher rarity ones, but I'm not going to complain. Gravekeeper's Priestess, okay, here we go, that's all. Harpy Queen, nice. Elegant Egotist, come on. Destroyosaurus, what a terrible card to end on. And then we've got Time Wizard being a common behind that. Um, all in all, I think it says a lot when the cards I'm most excited for are shitty commons, like Great Mammoth of Goldvine, Goldfine even, and School Stalker. Um, I'd be very interested to read the actual spoiler for this. It seems very, very strange. Not a lot of actual old cards. Um, a lot of sort of loose connections, like the Gravekeeper's cards with um, with Marek, and uh, what was it? Some of the uh, the GX dinosaur cards of Rex Raptor. And to be honest, not really a lot of Joey stuff. Um, I could probably count the actual Joey cards. I received them those packs probably on a hand or two. Um, I'm happy I got it. Um, I was, you know, but I think I would have preferred if there was a couple more Joey cards. Um, I was expecting things like Super Rare Gamble, um, maybe Super Rare um, Time Wizard or Baby Dragon, and basically I got well, some pretty naff stuff really.